folks, welcome back. As the old phrase goes, you can't keep a good man down. For I am the one, the only hobo Tom. Hit my music. Action is made. And we have a little special going on. Um, there seems to be a lot of wrestling this this weekend or this end of the month here in August. Yeah, I've I've I still have a moratorium on NXT. Done with that. Besides big WWE events, I might be done with WWE. I don't know. I might stick to doing my own stuff and doing some smaller promotions. Well, Impact's a little smaller, I guess. Um, AEW, if they ever come back to Florida, they've been touring forever. Although, Daly's Place is still a dump. I don't know, it would be nice. Oh, an ant got me. Been doing some yard work. It would be nice if they came back to Daytona Beach, but whatever. It's time to talk about some Impact Wrestling. And we have the multiverse Impact Wrestling versus New Japan Pro Wrestling. And there's only one way to start off any New Japan show. Hit this music. That's right, folks. It's time to be Bullet Club. Because you're too sweet for life. So that was, that was pretty cool. Actually, I'll let this theme play. I'll move the mic so you can hear me a little bit more. We have Bullet Club. Uh, Chris Bay, Kenta, a couple other members of Bullet Club. They're taking on the world. And by the world, I mean PCO, Josh Alexander, the Gorillas of Destiny, El Fantasmo, and the DKC, <coughs> whoever that is. I have no idea. But because this is Bullet Club versus the world, Gabriel Kidd is... Bullet Club? Whoa. He's definitely too cool for life. I remember Gabriel Kidd in WCPW. Wow. So yeah, I have the world winning PCO, Josh Alexander, the Girls of Destiny, El Fantasma, and the DKC. Only way to start off. Bullet Club always takes a loss, but we have begun our typical New Japan Pro Wrestling Gang Warfare. So that's all I can say about that. Um, we have a seven man light heavyweight championship. Frankie Kazarian, Bushi, Mai? I don't know if that's show or yo. If they broke up, I don't know. Mai. Whatever, whoever he is. Rich Swan and El Desperado. You know what? I have to amend this because I just realized something. Rich Swan. Oh no, I think the Rascals are. Yeah, I think the Rascals. So yeah, so Rich Swan. Rich Swan's going to win. I don't know if that means anything. I mean, I could see it. Oh, Chris Saban and Kevin. Chris Saban's not winning it. He's still with the Motor City Machine Guns. Tag team people never win this stuff. And Kevin Knight, don't even know who he is. Rich Swan wins this seven man event. We have in a death battle this Doki. No idea. I don't. New Japan comes on way too late at night for me to watch it. Versus Sammy Callahan, the Death Machine. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs down all the way. Sammy Callahan wins. 
He has to do something. Uh, Zach, the next match is Zack Sabre Jr. and Shane Haste versus Moose of Moose Nation and Eddie Edwards. <laughs> oh yeah, this has all the all the trimmings of Moose and Eddie Edwards blowing up. Zack Sabre Jr. and Shane Haste win. That's an easy, that's a chalk in the win column for New Japan. Um, that was an interesting matchup. We have Leo Rush and Trey Miguel versus Mike Bailey and the ticking time bomb, Hiroma Takahashi. I don't know. Again, this is one of those, this could blow up very easily between Leo Rush and Trey Miguel. It could also be that Impact says, hey, we want to make New Japan look good. They've been doing a good job about healing their relations because at one time, Impact buried everyone. So now it's a little bit more even. Like the Rascals are. can't believe the Rascals are back. Wentz is back. I wonder if my princess... Kimberly's back. Hey, Kimberly, you know I'm single, right? Yeah, Mike Bailey and Hiromu Takahashi are going to win. I just have that feeling. Then we have Alex Shelley versus the ace Hiroshi Tanahashi. I'm getting it a little bit better. Yeah, they're not going to have their champion lose. Alex Shelley, this is going to be a good match. Hopefully Tanahashi's knees hold up. So yeah, that's a nice little Impact Multiverse thing. Um, this show is on this Sunday at 7. So I have a quick, simple breakfast I'm going to make. It means I can't go through all that citrus vodka and l'orange. Because cheese, fish knows I have enough of it. Uh, before... Do you want to try that root beer bourbon? I have to go, I have to find that. That sounds good though. But yeah. So again, I'm probably going to be sticking more towards local events. Um, things that literally happen here besides NXT. Boo NXT. I'm going to boo them just like I boo Sonya Deville. Although I do feel bad Sonya Deville did tear her ACL. Even though I boo people, I do not want to see them get injured. Maybe, somewhat. But yeah, Boo NXT. They haven't been to Daytona Beach in a while either, which is a little telling of what Daytona Beach thinks of NXT and or what NXT thinks of Daytona Beach. Who knows? Um, so that's this Sunday. Next Sunday, there's Emergence. I also think it's AEW. I don't think we're going to cover the AEW one. That gets a lot of attention. And you know what? Doing Impact a little bit different. Doing Impact is how I started off doing these reviews. So therefore, it's going to be Impact all the way. Again, hopefully AEW comes back either to Daytona Beach or back, I guess, to the daily, Daily's place. Place is a dump. But other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please watch, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, the Labor Day. The Labor Day workouts coming in. Um, that is the Daytona Beach Bonefight League kind of special show. Again, every holiday, put on a special show. Uh, I think this is going to be an uncivilized show. Or, yeah. Or, or a civil war. Or something like that. Yeah. yeah, the two brothers, the Keller boys. Oh, it's a, it's a name. Gunk out of this, I hope. But yeah, that'll be later. Soon. About two weeks. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching again. Thank, I'd like to th also thank everyone for all the.